gang, it is Jen, your exclusive starter business coach, and this video in particular is brought to you by my Braid Hair for Cash course at braidhairforcash.com, um, where you can find out how to start your hair braiding business. But what I want to come in and talk to you guys about right now is what I would do differently right now if I had to start my, bra my braiding business all over again, okay? The first thing I would do is I would definitely set up my Instagram. There is no way around it, you guys. Social media is where it's at. But for us braiders in particular, every social media doesn't make sense to our braiding business. Twitter doesn't make sense to our business. Pinterest at this, well, that's a lot. Pinterest can be helpful, but Pinterest isn't something that you would try to master or dominate as a braider. Um, some of these, uh, some of these social medias isn't, isn't where it's at for braiders, but if it was me starting over, I would one, start my Instagram immediately, and I would start my YouTube. Now, what I would do is I would do my Instagram would be where I would show my pictures or my um, in-action braiding, and if I had a YouTube channel as a braider, I would show people before and after in video, okay? I would show them video because the thing about a lot of people and braiders is that most braiders take pictures, which is great, but we have access to video now. So people want to see in real time that you actually know how to braid and the styles that you do are coming out the way they would want it on themselves. Side note. Um, my friend, she took her daughter to go get um, a hairstyle and it was obviously a brand new braider who claimed she knew how to do feet and braids. Those braids were not feet and braids. Those braids that I ended up seeing on the young lady, um, on my friend's daughter, ended up being, <laughs> you guys, it was basic cornrows. Which is nothing wrong with that, but that's not what you said you knew how to do and that's not what you charged me for and that's not what I brought my daughter to you for. So, I definitely would, re would recommend if you are a braider, you need to get an Instagram immediately. Do not, I repeat, do not bring it in. Do not, are you, did you hear what I said? Do not turn your personal page into your business page. Here's why. Your personal page has families and friends and you would think, oh my gosh, well I already have people on there, they're gonna like my stuff. Yes, they're gonna like your stuff, but you have to be realistic. Those people that are on your personal page are not your, they're not your customers, they're not your clients as well as people will eventually get tired of seeing you post about your business. Now, it's nothing wrong with mentioning your business on your personal page, but you need to have a dedicated page just to your braiding business, okay? So, one is get social media, Instagram, YouTube, okay? The second thing that I would definitely do is I would find directories that hairstylists are on and I would sign myself up for those directories. Now the sucky part about being a braider is that there are not a lot of directories for us. However, there are some directories that are for stylists and you putting yourself on there would mean that if there's no other braiders on there, then you have a more, opportunity, more opportunity to get seen by people who want a braider in that directory. So that's something I would do. I would immediately find directories with you, uh, with barbershops, hairstylists, um, and put my name there, put my number there, put my Instagram there, just so people can find me organically. And then the last thing I would do, you guys, is I would definitely pay for ads. Like I keep telling you guys, you cannot run your business off of free. Can you start your business for free? Absolutely. But everybody knows in order to make money, you got to spend money. And the truth of it is, for many of us, we don't need to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars in ads. Because think about it, there's only one you, and you only have two hands. You can only do so many clients here in one day, or book yourself out for the rest of the week. So if you were to say to yourself, I'm going to take $25 every week to um, seek out clients, and get booked, I think it's worth it. $25 for many of us braiders who know how to do versatile hairstyles, box braids, micro braids, twisties, flats, all that. You can spend $10 in ads and you, and as long as you book two to three clients a week, that is worth it. Come on you guys, some of us spend $10. I just spent $8 getting a Ruger flow. You spend $10 at Starbucks. I spend more than ten dollars at Wingstop. Okay, lemon pepper all flat. Okay, so if I were starting over, I would definitely invest in ads. However, the thing about ads is that you must know how to run ads properly because if you run ads and you don't know what you're doing, 
it's gonna eat up all your money so I'm gonna do you a favor I went and I searched for a video for someone who I believe resonates with the pretty money gang right pretty gay and um, she shows you how to do Facebook ads so I'm gonna leave her video in the description below make sure you watch her video at least five times before you before you even buy your first five dollar ad I'm not saying that $5 ad. Here's why I don't want you guys to lose money, but I want you to start getting into the habit and investing in your braiding business so that you can make sure that what you put out and you're making sure you're getting in. So if you say I'm going to spend $10 on ads this weekend, $25 on ads this weekend, I think it's worth it because if you do two box of braids and you charge $100 for a box of braids and you got those two clients off of that $25 ad you did, you just made two, you just turned that twenty five hundred that twenty five dollars into two hundred dollars, right? So you have to think of it like that. Don't think of it as I'm just throwing money at ads. That's why I'm telling you you need to learn from somebody before you just throw money at ads. So those are the three things that I would do if I were starting my break business all over. I would immediately hop on social media and start showing people my braids in real time and pictures and video. I would um, then I would jump on all the directories even if it's a paid directory right there's some of these um kind of small business directories um that you know charge a fee for your name to be in there but again you have to spend some money to make some money and the last thing i would definitely do is i would invest in ads you need to invest two things you need to invest the time to learn how to do ads properly right and then you need to invest the money because you can't make no money if you don't spend no money so here at the Pretty Chicks Invest channel, we turn our skills into dollar bills. Hashtag Pretty Gang in the comments, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.